Techno and minimal elements. Let me start first with this phrase. It's all in the groove. That's what techno and minimal is all about. It is vital that every rhythmic element has a place in the groove. Be critical when adding elements and choose samples carefully. Start with the kick and bass line and bring in another element around them. One good technique is to imagine the elements in the groove having a discussion with each other. Introduce one sound and then counter it with another of few beats later. Keeping effects changing constantly by automating them, especially reverbs and delays. You can make deep minimal bass lines by using nothing other than just the 808 kick sample with the long decay. Tune the kick so that it combines well with your main kick drum and add the volume envelope with the track turned slightly up. So you can keep the boom and not a snap of the kick. Adjust the DK to get the right length, add the little pitch envelope to the sample with pitch shifting either slightly up or down. This kind of wobbly sounds is heard in many minimal and techno productions today. Make a free-flowing techno head pattern by using a white noise oscillator, playing and shuffling around. Your track is destined to be rocking a big club system. If you cram in every idea and then some more, your track is destined to be rocking a big club system. If you cram in every idea and then some more, the track will soon sound messy on a big rig. This is minimal dance music. Having a few choice elements that work well together is your ultimate aim. Let's see this in practice. I already prefixed a nice bass drum, some groove loops and some glitchy sounds, which is often used in minimal music. The tempo is slightly more down than in trance and a little bit, you know, in between house music. So we choose here 125 BPM for us. First, we have here like a more common technoish beat. Underneath you hear this glitchy pattern which is often used in minimal. We're gonna put it in mute right now. Oh, and let's put on another groove loop to just have that more technoish feel. Remember my first phrase, it's all in the groove. And let's do this together. If you ask me, there is a lot of groove going on. Let's turn more to the minimal side of life. And it's all about more the glitchy sounds. Key percussion hits. Key percussion hits neat and tidy by adjusting the decay of the samples according to the groove of your track. In general, the percussion hits in minimal techno are very short. Also remember to check the decay of your kick drum sample. Too long a decay and the kick will interfere with the bass line and too short of a decay will not yield enough true punch. Key percussion hit Key percussion hits neat and tidy by adjusting the decay of the samples according to the groove of your track. In general, the percussion hits in minimal techno are short. Also remember to check the decay of your kick drum sample. Too long a decay and the kick will interfere with the bass line and too short a decay will not yield enough to punch your track. Let's hear this. You see, everything is really compact. And let's hear this other glitchy loop I pre pre prepared for you. So let's hear this. So let's hear this. So 
As you can hear, everything sounds very compact. And let put us the Glitch Loop 2 together with this uh, more techno-ish bass drum. <laughs> There is still the groove going on, but everything sounds so short uh, around the whole concept of the loops. Remember also to cut out. Um, also remember to cut out the low frequencies by using a high pass filter on the white noise sound to keep your mix clean. That's it about techno and minimal elements. <laughs>